Dear Henry, I once held a Rubik's Cube with your portrait on it and became enamored with your art instantly. And the more that I saw, the more I appreciated all the little details and references and how these references aren't trying to talk specifically about those things, but rather about how we connect to them, each other, and ourselves. While you were here, I got to see two sides of your creative self, H. Lloyd and Dandelion the Clown. We talked about these personas and how they've become a way for you to explore your relationship with gender and identity, about the complexity of ourselves, and how the self-portrait is a perfect vehicle for exploring one's experiences and relationships to the world. They're personal, vulnerable, open, and performative. Dandelion the Clown was caught in a perpetual action of making themselves up, followed quickly by removing their face on a clean, blank handkerchief. I'd never thought about the connections and qualities of a monoprint in relation to action painting, or just painting for that matter. I was left wondering where one ends and the other begins. H. Lloyd exploited photography through the Van Dyke Brown and cyanotype processes. I found the contrast of the painterly application and the photorealism of the image texturally engaging and ever more surprising when later included with screen print. Nostalgic references seem to seep into every corner of these photographs. I felt transported to a time that is both now and then. I don't envy the challenge you've made for yourself, expressing the many sides of your personality through these characters. The rewarding but undoubtedly difficult experience of exploring, as you put it, fictional and emotional projections of your inner and exterior self. But I hope you'll continue because I appreciate the way you push the boundaries of heterosexist conventions. Sincerely, Chrissy.